the presentation of the honorees from Mrs. Bricker Jones of Young Street Baptist Church and Sister Edith Salser from Mount Welcome Baptist Church. Baptist Church. 
D'Angelo attended South Atlanta High School and will graduate in May 2016. Around Dixie Hills, he is one of those young men who will work anytime and anywhere as, and he does it with a smile. D'Angelo, Pastor Sutton, and your church family congratulates you, and may God continue to bless you. Reverend Ulysses S. Ponder, pastor. We have Melody Joy Bellamy. Well, that's Mount Calvary. Call it out. Call it out. We'll have Mount Calvary Baptist. history with Mount Calvary. Her grandfather, brother Joe Taylor, and grandmother, sister Mildred Taylor, have been dedicated members. Both of her parents, brother Bernard Bellamy and sister June Bellamy, have jointly instilled in Milani the importance of Christian values. At Mount Calvary, Milani is in the Intermediate Ushers and Dancing Angels Ministry. She is also a member of the Youth Choir for Christ. In the Atlanta Missionary Baptist Association, she has participated in several oratorical competitions. Recently, she participated with members of the dance ministry on youth night at the AMBA Leadership Summit. Milani will be a rising freshman at the historic Benjamin E. Mays High School in the fall. Throughout her academic career, she has been on both AB honor roll. Her favorite subjects in school are mathematics and biology. This combination should suit her well as she plans to study pre-med in college and later enter medical school to become a gynecologist specialist. Her favorite Bible verses are Romans 10, 9 through 10. If you confess with your mouth that the Lord is and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Milani, your Mount Calvary family is very proud of you and congratulate you on your great honor. Okay, Mount Calvary, I'm going to have to help you with this one also. I think it's Sanai Amari Robinson. Sanai Amari Robinson has attended the Mount Calvary Baptist Church virtually all of her life. Her mother is Sister Linda Robinson, and her grandmother is Sister Linda Gardner. In September 2012, Sinai gave her life to Christ and was baptized by Pastor Douglas D. E. Stowers. Even though she is a quite, quite young, Sinai is involved in several different ministries at Mount Calvary, including both the Sarah L. Collins Ushers, the Intermediate Ushers, as well as the Dancing Angels Ministry. She is one of the lead singers in the Youth Choir for Christ. She has the ability to read, and as a result, she is the only youth member in the Praise Ringers. For the past three summers, she has attended Mount Calvary Summer Motivational and Intense Learning Experience Program. In the Atlanta Missionary Baptist Association, she led her team to winning second place in the 2015 Bible Bowl. So now we'll be in the sixth grade attending GPP, I'm sorry, GP Bad Middle School in the fall. Throughout her elementary school academic career, she has been on the honor roll. She is a member of the Beta Club, Social Club, the Dance Team, as well as the News Team. In addition, she's a Girl Scout and plays the piano well. She plans to, she plans to study law in college and later graduate from law school and plans to become a tax lawyer. Her favorite Bible verse, Verses are John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So now your Mount Cameron family is very proud of you and congratulate you on this honor. Our next church is Providence Grace Baptist Church. Providence Grace Baptist Church. I 
I'm going to give a minute. Uh, what about on the Lisa Zimmer? Um, if I start with Tatiana first. All right. Tatiana Turk is 15 years old. She is a sophomore at Walnut Grove High School in Walton County. She is currently a cheerleader for the junior varsity basketball team. She is involved with her school student government club, a member of Christian Learning Center, and she plans to run track this spring. Tatiana attends Mount Welcome Missionary Baptist Church under the direction of Dr. Darrell Roberts. She serves in many ministries at the church, which includes the Pastor Grant Youth Choir, Feeding the Homeless. She participates in the Girl Scout Troop. She recently participated in an event sponsored by the Concerned Black Clergy about Georgia Power's electricity engineering education suggestions and employment opportunities. She's also the recipient of the 2015 Charles W. Grant SOAR Award. Tatiana's aspiration is to finish high school at the top of her class and attend the University of Georgia to become a medical engineer. Her favorite scripture is Philippians 4.13. Now I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Tatiana, your church family is very proud. Our next honoree is Reginald Brian Hanks II. And Reggie is taking his ACT this morning. He has done everything to get here on time, but if he doesn't, his mom will be accepted in his place. Miss Don Hanks. Reginald is the son of Don Love, and, and he has an older brother, Ryan David Hanks, and Randall Brian Hanks. He is the son of Reginald B. Hanks Sr. He is a senior at Southwest DeKalb High School, where he is also platoon commander of the junior ROTC. Reginald attends Mount Welcome Missionary Baptist Church. He is an active member of the youth department, where he serves in various capacities, such as Patsy Grant Youth Choir, the audio video ministry, dance ministry, teen disciples, Mount Welcome Men Male Choir, Eagles, Eagle Scout, youth co-chair of men's department, and anything else that, he, that is asked of him. You can always find Reggie ready to sing or work throughout the church. Reggie, your church family salutes you. Congratulations, Reggie. We love you. And it's definitely Our next church is Mount Zion Second Baptist Church, Dr. H.W. Jones, pastor. We have Mr. Robert Bostic. Robert Bostic was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. He loves spending time with his family, going to the movies, and traveling out of town. He is the youngest of his family and has one older sister. In 2000, Robert joined Mount Zion Second Baptist Church, learning more about Jesus. At, at the age of nine, Robert informed his mother, Claudia, that he was ready to be baptized. His activities at Mount Zion consist of being on the junior deacon board as well as the president of the youth usher board. Every first Sunday, Robert ministers communion with the deacons to the sick and shut in. Robert's goal is to graduate from Lovejoy High School in 2016 and continue his education in college. Robert's favorite scripture that his mother taught him is, train up a child in the right way he shall go, and when he gets old, he shall not depart from it. Robert, your Mount Zion family is very proud of you. Leo Whitfield. Our next honoree, New Jerusalem. Jerusalem. <laughs> Harris is the granddaughter of Reverend Samuel and Arlene Bowles. Jamesia is a fifth grader of Mary Bethune Elementary. Her favorite subject is reading. In her spare time, Jamesia loves playing sports with friends. Her favorite is football. <laughs> Jamesia loves going to church. Jamesia is actively involved in the New Jerusalem Baptist Church Youth Department. She sings in the alto section of the Young Voice of Praise Choir. She serves on the Youth Usher Board. 
She also dances with the NJBC Dance Ministry. Jamisi is always willing to serve where needed. Her future plan is to become a teacher. Jamisi and your New Jerusalem Baptist Church family salutes you and loves you. Our next honoree is D. Montez Williamson. <laughs> he is the nephew of Deacon Antonio and Rosemary Ray. He currently attends McEachin High School in Patty Springs, Georgia. He loves sports. He plays basketball for an AAU league team and his school. DeMontez has been attending New Jerusalem since the third grade. He participates in the team ministry as well as performs with the Performing Arts Ministry. He currently sings with the Young Voices of Praise Choir as a tenor. His future plan is to serve in the military. DeMontez, your New Jerusalem, your New Jerusalem family is proud of you and salutes you today for your service to the Lord. We have Mr. Joseph David Toller. Joseph David Toller was born on May 20th, 1998. He, is, he has three sisters and one brother. Joseph is a senior at Southwest Decatur High School with a 3.4 GPA. He is looking forward to attending college to study biochemical or musical engineering. He would like to attend either Georgia Southern or Georgia State University next year. His long-range goal is to own his own record company. Joseph is a faithful member of the Poplar Springs Baptist Church under the leadership of Reverend Ulysses Ponder. He attends church, Sunday school, and Bible study regularly. Joseph has been a team volunteer for Vacation Bible School for the past three years. He also assists with the Atlanta Missionary Baptist Association Bible Bowl, where he serves as a coach, trainer, and mentor to the Poplar Springs 13 and above three-year Bible Bowl champion. Joseph can often be found helping out around the church, doing whatever is asked of him, and participating whenever and whenever needed, always with a willing and positive attitude. Joseph David Tower was always remember to put God first in all that you do, and your Prophet Springs family honors you on today. Next we have Shaquille Williams. Shaquille Williams is the son of Michelle Jackson and has two brothers, Sharadi and Marquette. He graduated from Towers High School on May 23rd, 2015. Because of his hard work and determination, he was granted membership to the Castle League and ranked in the top 10% of his graduating class. Wow. While in Towers High School, he was on the wrestling team and won the title of Mr. Football. Because of his warm and outgoing spirit, he was also voted Mr. Prom. Shaquille attended Warren Technical School, where he excelled in landscaping. He is currently enrolled at Georgia Tech, continuing to study landscaping art and design. At Poplar Springs, he is a lead usher for the youth ministry, um, the youth usher's ministry, and attends church and Sunday school on a regular basis. Shaquille Williams, your Poplar Springs family, is very proud of you, and we salute you on today. Providence Missionary Baptist Church. Our first honoree is Kime White. She is the daughter of the late Benjamin Lynn and sister Shanta White, and the granddaughter of the sister Betty and the late Franklin Lynn and sister Kimi Tyree. And I apologize if I mispronounced those names. Kimi has three uh, siblings. She is on the honor roll and in the gifted program and sings in the chorus at Miller Grove High School. Kima, Kima, I'm sorry, Kima, Kima. Kima is a member 
is a member Spelman mentor program for young females. Kimar is very active at Providence Missionary Baptist Church. She is a member of the Children and Youth Choir and sometimes a soloist, the Angelic Wings of Praise Liturgical Dance. Lula C. Simpson Usher Board, Swag, which is Soaring with Actors of God, Drummer Group. Kimar is, is a gifted, is gifted playing the piano by ear. Kimar is a self-motivator. God loves you. May God continue to bless you. Our next honoree is Otis Jeremiah Williams. He was born on February 8, 1999 to Otis and Jackie Williams of Atlanta, Georgia. Otis is 16 years old and has been a member of Providence Missionary Baptist Church since birth. He is a participant in the church worship services, Sunday school, youth group, church lock-ins, community outreach, children, youth choir, and basketball team. Otis loves playing the drums, and he has served as the drummer for the 745 worship service. Otis has been a football player since the age of six and has played for community and school teams. Otis is a student in the Atlanta public school system and is an 11th grader. He is planning to attend college or technical school upon his graduation in 2017. Our next church is Shiloh Baptist Church, Atlanta. Reverend Philip R. A. Span Pastor. Our first honor from that church is Ms. Jalen Simone Kendrick. Jalen Simone Kendrick. Our proud parents are Sean and Jennifer Kendrick. Jalen is the oldest of five children. Jalen is in the ninth grade at Chapel Hill High School in Douglasville, Georgia. As a freshman, Jalen is a member of the Key Club, the Gospel Choir, and the Track Team. Jalen is, is taking AP and Honors classes. Jalen is known as the motivator among her group of friends and is often encouraging others to just be themselves. Jalen joined the church at a young age of eight. As a member of Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church, where Reverend Philip R. A. Spann is pastor, Jalen is a member of the Youth Usher Ministry, the Youth Mind Team, the Devotional Praise Team, the Children Slash Youth Choir, and the Sunday School Department. Jalen is confident that the career path she chooses will be one where she is able to make a difference in the lives of others in a positive way. She enjoys being silly with her family, reading, taking vacations, and anything that has bling. Jalen's church family, grandparents, parents, and siblings are very proud of her. Yay. Our next honoree is Khalif K.J. Bacon Jr. Khalif K.J. Bacon Jr. is a seventh grader at Jean Childs Young Middle School where he takes honors, math, and science. He plays percussion in the Young Middle School Jazz Band and Maine's High School Marching Band. At Shiloh Baptist Church in Atlanta, where Reverend Philip R. A. Spann is a pastor, KJ is a member of the Youth Mind Team, Children's Slash Youth Choir, Youth Usher Ministry, and Sunday School. Khalif's family, along with the Shiloh family, is very proud of him and loves him dearly. Yay. Unity Baptist Church. Our first honoree is Treasure Bianca Turner. She's the daughter of Angel Jackson. Treasure was born on November 21st, 2001 in Atlanta, Georgia. She's 13 years old and attends Addison Middle School where she's in the eighth grade. Treasure's favorite subjects are math and science. She also likes to dance and holds a great sense of humor. Treasure loves to laugh. She is a member of the Social Butterfly Club. She is a member of Unity Baptist Church South under the leadership of Pastor Jerry G. Floyd. And Unity Treasure is a member of the choir and loves to sing. She also takes pleasure in reading the scriptures during the youth services. Unity feels blessed 
to have treasure as a member. Treasure desires to one day become a lawyer in order to help people in her community. Our next honoree is Taylor Shanice Jackson. Taylor is the daughter of Angel Jackson. She was born on March 17, 1998. She is a 17-year-old excellent student at Mar High School in Clayton County, where she is a senior. Taylor is an avid writer who also loves to dance. She enjoys chilling with her friends while enjoying softball and soccer. Her favorite subjects are math and social studies. Upon graduation, Taylor plans to attend Georgia State or the University of Georgia, where she will major in journalism and communications. Taylor has participated in FLAG, which is a foreign language association of Georgia, for Spanish, the Governor's Honor Program for Spanish, and UGA Journalism Academy in 2015. She is a member of Unity Baptist Church South, where the pastor is Reverend Jerry G. Floyd. She participates in the youth choir. She's also the announcer on Youth Sundays. Taylor's motto in life, is a closed mouth will not be fed. Amen. Taylor is a joy to the congregation of Unity Baptist Church South. Congratulations, Taylor. Our next honoree is Mid this sweet or well, our next category is Sweet Street Baptist Church. Our honoree is Jalisa Paxton. It is said each person is born with a predestined greatness. Jaleesa was born to Ronald and, and Rhonda Caston on May 13, 1997. She attended Lithonia High School in Lithonia, Georgia, and graduated May 21, 2015, with a 3.1 GPA. She, along with other students, was awarded the Superintendent's Award for challenging themselves with three or more advanced placement classes while going through high school. She has been a dedicated and active member of Wheat Street Baptist Church for 10 years. In 2007, she was baptized by the esteemed Reverend Dr. Michael Neely Harris. At Wheat Street, she was a part of the Young Voices Choir, liturgical dancers, chanters, and treasurer of the youth board for the past two years just to name a few. Though Wheat Street, through Wheat Street, she has been an active, she has actively participated in the AMBA Bible Bowl, and this year won first place in the AMBA oratorical contest. She attributes her success not only to her family, but also her Wheat Street family that has always motivated her, and also her, and also her only favorite nephew, X. Jaleesa was accepted to eight colleges, and after the very complicated decision, she decided to further her education at Payne College in Augusta. She is currently attending and majors in sociology. In the future, she plans on becoming a social worker. She is a firm believer in the children being the future, and the only way to secure our prominent future is to secure and mold our children into leaders. While not in church, at school, or volunteer, Jaleesa enjoys hanging with her friends and family, doing hair, and shopping. Jaleesa thanks her parents, Ronald and Rhonda, for not only guiding her, but leading by example. Without them, she says, I would not be who I am and aspire to be. Her nephew, X, along with other family members, help her realize her potential and reasons God has put her on this earth. Throughout the years, Jaleesa has struggled with her favorite scripture, but plans to live by Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Congratulations, Jaleesa. All right, our next honoree is Mr. John Parham the Fourth. Parents, Mr. John and Cynthia Parham.
Parham III. He is the grandson of both Mr. John and Doris Parham Jr. and Mr. Rufus and Claire Carter. Also, John is the younger brother to Alex Parham. He, he, Alexis. He was baptized at the Wheat Street Baptist Church at the age of five by Pastor Harris. John loves the Lord. At Wheat Street, John is an active participant of the youth ministry. He is a member of the Wheat Street Young Voices, the Chanters, the Junior Usher Board, the Young Disciples Sunday School class, and the Wheat Street Youth Media Management Ministry. John also attends Floyd Middle School and is in the seventh grade. At Floyd Middle School, he is an academic honor student and plays the tuba with the seventh grade band. John Parham IV is active outside of the church and school. He plays recreational football for Osborne Park and basketball for Upper Bounds. John will attend South Cobb High School once he graduates from middle school. Upon graduating from high school, John is aspiring to be accepted at Morehouse College, where his father graduated. John wants to become a professional basketball player after college. John Wood Street is proud of you. Our next church is none other than Young Street Community Baptist Church, Reverend Marquez L. Fletcher. Our first honoree is Christy Cycle. McNair High School is in the 10th grade. Her school activities include the Reading Bowl, the Art Club, and the McNair High School Band. Christy joined Young Street May 19, 2013. Her church activities include the dance ministry, the ushers ministry, and the youth choir. Christy's plans for the future is to graduate from high school and attend Emory University and earn a bachelor's degree in nursing. Christy Young Street is very proud of you. Xavier Morley. April 4th, 2003. His parents are Yolanda Seifold and Michael Morley. Xavier attends McNair Middle School. He is in the sixth grade and participates in the course. Xavier joined, joined Young Street on May 19, 2013. His church activities include the dance ministry, ushers ministry, and the youth choir. Xavier's plans for the future are to attend the University of Georgia, graduate and play professional football, or attend the Cordon Group and become a pastry chef. Xavier, your family at Young Street is very proud of you. Our next church being honored is Troy Street Baptist Church. Jasmine Freeman, your Torch Street family is very proud of you. Amen. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our 
will have our youth and young adult worship service over at Nature Hill. And we will be contacting you for participants for the program. Nathan Matthews will be contacting you, and I hope that you will say yes. And this time, she will have my hearing aid. Right. Good job. Good job. Good job. As we prepare to leave, just before we leave, we need to give a hand to our presider this day. Johnson, Sister Ruthie Wise, Mercy Director, Chairperson, and Sister Patty Mobley, the President of our Women's Department. We thank each and every one of you. And let us all stand and let's also salute our young people one more time. of excellence for you. We thank you for the parents and pastors and church leaders, teachers and those who have sowed seeds into their lives of nurture and encouragement. We also ask God that you will continue to allow your favor to rest upon them. Protect them from the pressures of peer pressure. Protect them from the pressure of violence and hatred and racial profiling and negativity. We pray, God, that you would cover them with your amazing grace. And Heavenly Father, we also remember the words of Benjamin Mays who said, not failure, but low aim is sin. And so God, give them the strength and the courage to always have a goal to reach for, to dream big, and also to reach for the stars. And if they land on the moon, it's all right. Because you have the stars and the moon in the palm of your hands. And so as we leave this place, we pray that you would always keep us in the palm of your hands. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.